Hi guys, this is Kristen with BlueMoonScrapbooking.com and I'm going to show you the things I'm going to use today on the beginnings of my Life Loves album. Um, I posted a picture of the cover online a couple days ago and you can see it here. And I'm going to show you today in the video how to do this kind of painting technique. Let me show you some of the things I'm going to use. So first we've got some wonderful Claudine Helmuth paints. Um, I have her three colors, yellow pastel, modern red, and sky blue. And the great thing about these two is that you can mix them and create your own colors and they're just really easy to mix and to smooth out on chipboard like we have here today. Um, I also have the Claudine Helmuth Studio Gesso, um, which is great as a primer coat. It helps the paint not to stick to the chipboard as much and also gives um, a nice light color underneath. And we've got the multi-medium gloss um, from Claudine Helmuth as well. And this just helps to thin out your paint and make it last a little bit longer. It also gets a really nice um, sheen or shine on top of your um, whatever project you're going to do. So then if I move the camera around, you can see that the bindery we're going to use today from Seven Gypsies, which I just absolutely love. It's my new favorite punch binding tool from Seven Gypsies. That's going to make the um, holes that you see along the bottom edge here that we're going to make for our album today. And I'm also going to use a little bit of Tim Holtz Distress Ink. My favorite colors are the Spiced Marmalade and the Dusty Concord. So I'm going to use a little bit of those with um, his Blender tool, the Ink Essentials that you see here. So I've got those for the painting project. And in the background here, I've also got some Paint Dabbers from Ranger. Um, they have a lot of great colors. I have similar colors that I have to the Claudine Helmuth. I've got red pepper and cloudy blue, lemonade, pool, black and white. So all of those are going to help to see the colors and the patterns that you see here on this. And then the last part is this design that you kind of see on the side here. That is made using their Tim Holtz Wonderful Mask, which I just absolutely love. And I'm going to use this for a couple different things. So... I will show you that when we get started. And just so you know, you can get all of these wonderful products over at bluemoonscrapbooking.com. Okay, guys, so now we've got our bindery tool from Seven Gypsies, and I'm going to use it to make um, the holes for my, my Life Loves album today. And all this is is also from Seven Gypsies. It's chipboard, and it's 12 by 12. They also come in 8 by 8. Great for making your albums, especially if you want to do some kind of painting. So... First thing you're going to do is you're just going to stick it in. You can see that there's a ruler right here. You kind of have to, I can kind of show the camera, it's hard to see. But there's a ruler right in there. And the first tick mark is where you're going to line up your chipboard with. So I'm going to push it in there as far as it can go. Now the side little ruler over here clicks. And it has a little circle right there you press down. That first ledge is where I have it on. So it clicked into place there. All I'm going to do is make sure it's lined up with my tick mark. And then you just kind of hold it steady and press the top button. You can hear it made the first two holes, just like that. You can see they're pretty um, evenly spaced. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click this guy out right to about there. And the great thing about this is it has a little spot for you to put your hole in. So now, as I set it in like this, it's good to go for my third hole. I'm going to press again click it out. You can see I've got three holes now. And for my last one, I'm just going to put it in the second hole so that it'll line up and make my fourth. So now we're going to paint our previously gessoed background. Um, you can see that we've got it's totally dry. It takes a really short amount of time. And we've got our wonderful Claudine Helmuth Studio paints. Um, the three colors I have are modern red, sky blue and yellow pastel. You can really use any colors you want. Um, she has about 15, but you can make as many as you want. It's really simple and easy. So all I'm going to do is just uncap my paints. You see how beautiful they are. I would start with at least a few brushes so that you can use multiple colors at once. And you can be really bold with this. You don't have to worry about mixing certain colors or anything because this is yours. You can kind of move them around as you go along too. So I'm going to start with red. And you can put it just right on your Ranger craft sheet like I have here. And you can just kind of start brushing it around. Now, the way the color looks is going to be up to you. You can see that when I kind of brush back over it, 
it gets lighter again because you can see the gesso underneath it. Okay, you can kind of spread it out multiple directions like this. Um, another thing to know is that Claudine Helmuth has these wonderful multi-mediums. Um, you can either have gloss or matte that work to thin the paint and help it spread better. So I like a glossy finish, so I'm going to use the multi-medium gloss and you can just put some of that out on your craft sheet and kind of work it in and use the two colors together if you want like this and it'll just help you spread out your paint. Okay, so now that our paint is dry, we're going to go ahead and add on some masks today. And I think I'm going to do the same one, this Tim Holtz one, which I love and that I use for the front cover. And it's really cool because it comes clear so you know exactly what it's going to look like when you're done. So I just peel it off. And I think I'm going to kind of put it in the opposite spot that I did on the front. So I'm going to put it on the other side, something like this. Now, when you're putting paint over it, you can use the dabbers, like I was showing you before. Um, you could use the Distress Ink from Tim Holtz, which I love as well. The only thing I would say would be that um, to be careful what medium you use with the Claudine Helmuth, because if it's the glossy underneath, the Distress Ink won't stick to it as well. So I'm going to use kind of a combination. I'm going to start with some dabbers um, and see where I go from there. Um, also the kind of Tim Holtz Ink Essentials um, blender tool that is really great for his distressed inks and just for anything that you want to blend. I've got um, Spiced Marmalade is the color I'm using right now for the distressed inks. You can see it right there. It's kind of an orangey color. And I'm just going to start to kind of spread it out a little bit over this. distress ink for this one mask, so I'm just going to very carefully peel. Ta-da! You get a very cool shape at the end. And these masks are very easy to clean. You can just soap and water them. You can use them again and again. Now, if that is too much of a contrast, you can even just take your blending tool and come back and add just a little bit of color into the inside part. Okay, so now I'm going to start to add in a um, few other kind of stamps. I love these acrylic stamps by Tim Holtz. Again, they're great. Um, and this circular one is the one I used on the cover. And so I've just applied it to my acrylic block that you see here. The great thing about this is you can add the dabbers if you want. You could do the distress ink. You could do a bit of both. Because it's clear, you're going to know what you're going to get. So here's the completed back cover of my Life Loves album. And the last steps I did was to kind of grunge up the edges with some black paint here. And also I painted all the edges all the way around. So you can see I kind of brought it into the corner there, all of the corners. And I just used a rag if I got it on top of the edge a little bit and smudged it out. Um, and the last thing I did was to use the same black dabber paint and I just chose a few stamps that I liked around, so it says Hope, Inspire, Imagine. And um, that was really easy just with the black dabber paint on the craft sheet, same way as um, the black edges. So that concludes the first part of my two-part video. Um, stay tuned for the second part, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.